Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, very excited, it's always fun to check out a brand new toy line, so to speak. And this one will be no exception. So this is the new McFarlane Toys, the 3-inch scale page punchers featuring Batman, Black Adam, Superman, and Flash. So speaking of which, it's an action figure and a comic book. Remember comic books? That's what all these movies are based on these days, right? But you see right there, Page Punchers, The Flash, you got the figure, you got the comic book, which this one in particular comes with Flashpoint number one. It's a lot of number ones, a lot of easy jumping off points, you could kind of say, for the more modern stories that have really taken hold, right? So then you have the barcode as well. These are starting to hit Target store shelves, and that's where I found mine. So like I said, you have The Flash, and you look at it all up close, and he's got this big clamshell to it. It says, it includes English comic book. Now, whether or not you'll see different versions, different language of the comic books remains to be seen. But for the most part, it's merely touting, hey, here's a comic. Read up on your favorite characters. And I really like that. This is kind of like a fun gift. It totally takes you back to the 90s, right? Getting a comic book, getting a ton of like a, pa a packaged comic book set of various issues. It's very cool. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of tape keeping this little clamshell together. So take your time, go easy, get them all off so that it opens nice and easy for you. But once you do, yeah, it simply just comes apart and you can take the comic book out. And that's again, what I like. This is great for kids, great for new readers, finding out about all these characters that we see in pop culture every day now, more so than we've ever seen before with the new We'll say, well, we don't know what happens with the Flashpoint movie, but Black Adam, that's totally coming out still, right? And then after the comic book, you can pull out the little three-inch minifigure, which, hey, not too shabby at all. So again, this is fun. This is going to be for certain collectors. This is going to be for kiddos, I think. That will be really cool to resonate with them. Reading and toys, who to thunk it? So you have Batman as well, which... He's rocking the whole Hush storyline, right? Superman gets the Rebirth Superman issue number one. So I actually have to read that. Black Adam gets number one of the Endless Winter. We look at that with the seven inch McFarlane DC Multiverse figure. So in either case, this is gonna be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Hey, grab a comic book too while you're at it. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Page Punchers, the three inch scale, wave one. And of course, here is everything taken out of the packaging. And like I said, yeah, you get these, they're an unusual scale. They're kind of like pocket superheroes, right? Totally their own thing. We'll look at all the scalatures in just a second. But yes, you have all four characters out, Black Adam, Superman, Batman, and The Flash. And they have a lot of articulation for quite a tiny figure. That doesn't always work out. A lot of it is a more modern take for the costumes, but I'll tell you right off the bat now, there's two in particular where you're like, yeah, you pretty much nailed that. That's actually pretty cool. But without further ado, with all the Black Adam speakings today, well, let's talk about Black Adam. And I'll tell you this right now. I got to look at a bunch on the store shelves, go through, not all the paint was great. I really did take a look. I tried to grab the best looking ones, and I think I did a pretty okay job. For the most part, the black, everything looks good. The yellow will kind of get yeah, shoddy here and there. We'll just say that. But it's really not bad compared to some that I saw otherwise. The head has a ball joint, so to speak. You get some rotation out of it, and it kind of looks up, kind of looks down. But it's painted nicely. I give it to him all day. He does have a waist swivel. He's got ball jointed arms in a way, right? If you push him too hard, they're going to pop off. But that makes for an interesting little add-on. I shall show you later on in this video. The legs go up and down as well. They kind of sort of move out to the side. Now, if this little guy had knees or elbows, I mean, it would be quite cool. But I like the simplicity of of the articulation of these. I really do, and you got the cape right here, which works with you, you can't get the arms all the way up, but for the most part, for being a tiny little three inch black out of figure, he's not too shabby at all. Next up, we're gonna be taking a look at Cal L, Superman, Rebirth Superman, which I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I don't like the costume for this Superman. I miss the red trunks, and I miss the red boots, 
but he does have a nice face portrait, even though from the side, it's a little bit angular, right? But from front on, you know, it looks pretty good. He's even got the little spit curl, which is nice to see. Now you can see you could do it yourself and put some red on the boots and red on the trunks because the sculpting is there. The cape is nice. I do wish that he had the S. Now, off the top of my head, I don't know if the Rebirth has the yellow S on the back of the cape, but further iterations, make sure to put that yellow on. With the articulation in the arms, he gets a little gappy, and this is the only one where this has any problems, right? It's just on the Superman. You can kind of sort of get him in a flying pose, but it's not going to look very naturalistic. If you get the head up just a little bit more, I think you would have fared a bit better. The reds is nice. The yellow, again, much like Black Adam, gets a little sloppy here and there on the S. You kind of have to look at it, but like I said, go through a bunch of them just to be sure. But again, the simplicity of it, you can get his arms out. If only he had like an eagle, you know what I mean? You know those old... 90s covers of Superman holding the American flag and an eagle on his arm. I don't know. You could do all that if you want. But yeah, he's okay. Black Adam, I think, definitely fared a little bit better. The Flash, on the other hand, I like him a lot. He's very, very cool. And minus the little lightning bolts on the head, you almost had a classic ish looking Flash. Almost. But the reds is nice. The yellows definitely fare a little bit better. However, you get a little overspray as it kind of meets the red on the boots. These are, in fact, if you look real closely, are basically shrunk down versions of McFarlane's 7 inch DC multiverse figures. No joke, because a lot of this you can see if you have the figures. Yeah, it's basically that. You can kind of get him in the running pose. It looks a little bit better than Superman's flying pose. Ah, see? The arm just fell off. Now, that's not really a problem. You could say, one, it's designed to do that, right? They're just on ball joints. They don't come off unless you really force them off or you put them in a weird angle, right? But I'll show you something cool that you can do a la He-Man Origins in just a few. But, uh, yeah, you can pose him nice. He looks pretty cool. The face could have used just a little bit better paint, right, in some instances. But he's got nice reds and yellows. Now with Batman here. Batman is my favorite, hands down. One, because he's, yeah, he's hush Batman. Two, he's more of a classic Batman. And three, he's got some wicked articulation mixed with the cape, and I like the open mouth. It's very cool. The cape, always with the McFarlane cape. It's nicely done and nicely detailed. And again, I'll tell you all day, I'll show you just a second. It's a shrunk down version of the new hush Batman that comes in the hush versus Batman two pack. He's got the waist, he's got the arms, he's got the legs, he's got the head. Everything works. This is a bulkier figure than the other figures. He's a little bit, we'll say, disproportionate to the others. He's a lot thicker, a lot bigger than Superman. And as you can clearly see, scale is not really going to be a thing with this line. They're all about the same height. Now, the cool thing I pointed out is that you can pull all the pieces and arms and everything off, and you can create your own character if you want. And for kids, that is a pretty cool play function. I know a lot of people who collect the He-Man Origins, give them to their kids, and they like to create new characters with all the different body parts. I don't think you can take them off the waist, a little bit of a different joint, but the heads, arms, and legs, free to go with it. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff, and it's fun, it's goofy, you can have yeah, it's a goofy old time with it, right? But I do like this head swap in particular. You can pretty much have an unmasked Batman. And even though it's Superman, I know, it kind of looks like a 90s Bruce Wayne. Just gonna say. Now, in terms of scalature, the new Page Punchers 3-inch line are 3 inches. But when you compare them to the McFarlane 7-inch line, but uh, yeah, it's basically this Batman shrunk down minus all the articulation. And that's really not a problem. I do like minimal articulated figures. That's what I grew up with, and I don't mind it at all. However, when you look at these figures scaled with figures of Batman over the years, McFarlane, DC Collectibles, Kenner, or otherwise, they are going to be their own scale. They're their own thing. They're kind of like Mego Pocket Superheroes. They're very teeny tiny, and I'll tell you what, if I want to take a figure with me to a convention and take a photo, they're a lot easier to finagle. You know what I mean? Now, a lot of people have been comparing these with the Marvel 375s. And as you can see, yeah, the Marvel 375s are a lot bigger. However, if you look at all of them in terms of the articulation, these new page punchers kind of fare a little bit better in some instances, just in terms of how the ball joint sockets, the legs, and the heads work. 
The other fact is that each one of these for $10 comes with a comic book and a figure, whereas the new Marvel 375s are now nearing that $12 mark, and they like to point out a lot that, hey, you should buy two because the artwork's really cool. Well, times have kind of changed in terms of spending money and whatnot. So I'll tell you right now, if you're going to get these for a kiddo, what's better? Comic book and a figure for 10 or just a really nice card art, which they're going to destroy anyways for 12 to 13 bucks. Just saying. But I do like the Marvel 375s. Don't get me wrong at all. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys 3-inch scaled page punchers. Wave 1, Black Adam, Superman, Batman, and The Flash. And of course, you've heard my thoughts on the matter. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything page punchers. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now I will tell you, I do like this first wave. I'm a little bit on the fence to see where they go with it. However, I'm on board, and I'd like to see where they can actually take this in the future. Vehicles, play sets, come on, let's see you do it. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.